Well, hello and welcome to another video tutorial by Moomoo Media. Today we're going to be looking at OpenSight Explorer. Now, OpenSight Explorer is a very powerful online tool that was created by the team at seomoz.com and it basically allows you to see a bunch of different linking data for any site on the web that you wish to see, including your own. Uh, the most powerful thing about OpenSight Explorer is that it gives you insights into other people's links and their link profiles. And that allows you to do some very cool competitive research. So to get things started, uh, we're going to type in a URL. So we'll do carsales.com.au. Now we're actually pro users, so we can do unlimited searches. But if you don't have a, an SEO Moz account, you should still be able to do about 10 searches an hour, I think it is. So we'll just click search. And OpenSight Explorer is going to return a bunch of different statistics to us. And it looks a bit, little bit over, overwhelming at first, uh, but I'll run through everything with you right now. So up the top here, you'll notice domain metrics. And the first one you'll see is domain authority, which is 71 out of 100. Now, domain authority is a number that uh, OpenSight Explorer calculates. If you want to learn a little bit more about how it's calculated, uh, just go to seomoz.org forward slash learn SEO. And on the right here, you'll see some links to Domain Authority, Page Authority, MozRank, and MozTrust. And you can click through to all of those for some very detailed explanations on how those are calculated. Uh, but for the time being, it basic, basically gives you a quick uh, numerical representation about how authoritative a domain is, so how long it's been around and how many people are linking to it. And 71 out of 100 is actually a very high score. Uh, next along we have page metrics. So these are specific to the current page. Now, as we haven't really put a sub page on, this will be for the home page. So the index.html or PHP or whatever it may be. So page authority is how authoritative this page in particular is. And once again, 76 out of 100, very high score. So that, that really means that this page has a very good chance of ranking. Uh, linking root domains basically means how many different domains on the web are linking to this page. So there's 969 distinct different web domains that are linking to the carsales.com.au homepage. Excuse me. Uh, the total links are the actual links themselves. So if there's sidebar links, uh, there'll be lots and lots of different links. So the total links is the actual total count of links pointing to the homepage, which is 104,000. Whereas linking root domains was only counting the domains. So for each domain, there be there may be many, many links. So hence uh, why total links is so much more. Uh, Facebook shares, obviously quite self-evident. Facebook likes, tweets, and Google plus ones. So some great stats there. It really shows you why carsales.com.au does uh, dominate the rankings quite well. So if we come down here to the tabs lower on the page, first tab we have here is inbound links. Now this basically gives us data on who's linking to this page. Uh, so we look down here at the, the first link. It's from Auto Trader UK, uh, new and used cars for sale. Uh, we can see the link anchor text, which is Car Sales Australia, and some statistics here on the linking domain. And this is actually ordered by uh, the value of that domain. So the highest value domains linking will be shown first. So here we can see that Auto Trader UK uh, is quite a good domain to begin a link from. And if we click here on the link itself on the little um, link there, it'll take us through to Auto Trader UK. And if we do a quick search on the page for that anchor text, which was Car Sales Australia. We can see down here that there's a footer link pointing to Car Sales Australia. So quite interesting. Uh, and so we can scroll down and we can look at all the different links pointing to this page. Up the top here we have some filters. So we can show all, we can show only the followed links, we can show the no followed, or we can show only three or one links. So if we were to scroll down a bit, we can see here that uh, no follow is shown in brackets. So these are links that have been set to no follow and Google will be ignoring them. Uh, they won't be passing any page rank. 
uh, the next we can look at all only external or only internal links. Uh, generally, you want to use only external, and to be able to see uh, which which external domains are pointing to this site. Uh, next along, we have to this page, so to the index.html, to pages on this subdomain, or to pages on this root domain. And so if we chose pages on this root domain, we'd see any domains that are pointing to any page on carsales.com.au rather than just the home page and some other links there. So you can play around with those parameters to give you different results and you can of course download those as a CSV file and that'll come in handy uh, when you want to play around with the data and also use it for our competitor analysis spreadsheet which we might do another video on. So moving along to the next tab which is top pages. Now this tab is going to show us the the best pages, or the best performing pages on the carsales.com.au domain and they'll be the ones that are sort of most linked to and have the most authoritative links. So we can see here that the home page is number one which is very common. Next along we have forward slash reviews, forward slash news, so on and so forth and we have data for each of those uh, for each of those pages. So we can obviously see here that the home page has 104,000 inbound links. So hence hence why it's ranking it has such power. Next along we have linking domains. Uh, up the top we have a TLD distribution chart. That gives you a quick idea of the different kinds of domains that are linking to you. So we can see that 40% of the links come from .com domains and 36% come from .com.au. And scrolling down, once again, ordered by the authority of these domains, we have the domains that link to carsales.com.au. And here we see that they've got a link from wikipedia.org, which is very valuable. Uh, TechCrunch, businessweek.com, Discuss. So they've got some great links here. And if you click the plus icon, you'll be able to click through to those links. Moving along to the next tab, we have a look at anchor text. Now anchor text is obviously the text that is being used to link. And this is actually an aggregated aggregated data. So we can see here that the anchor text carsales.com.au is contained on 170 different domains that are linking and 1000 links point with this anchor text. And if we scroll down, uh, carsales.com.au actually have quite a natural distribution of anchor text. Uh, looking at anchor text, if you see a lot of highly targeted keywords here, uh, such as for carsales.com.au, you know, if you saw things like buy cheap used cars and you had hundreds and hundreds of domains linking with that anchor text, uh, that would raise a red flag that they've been doing some dodgy tactics, but obviously in this case they haven't. So if you, you have a look at other competitors' websites, you can see um, how their anchor text distribution is looking. And you can do that for your own website as well just to make sure you're not doing anything that's sort of spammy or uh, looking manipulative. Uh, so moving along to compare link metrics. Another great tool here, we can do side-by-side -side comparisons with other websites. So uh, a competitor website I think would be carsguide.com.au and we click compare and S, uh, an open site explorer is going to give us a side-by-side -side comparison and it's going to show us who won in each case. And so here we see that carsales.com.au uh, is doing very well in comparison and, and beats it on every front. Uh, and also, and the last tab we have is advanced reports with a host of different options just to let you export some really advanced reports um, into spreadsheets. So there you have it. I uh, hope that wasn't too overwhelming. There's a, a whole lot of great information you can actually get out of Open Site Explorer and it will take you quite a while to learn. So do run through this video, have a practice, look at your own site, look at a bunch of different sites. So as always, uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and thanks very much for watching.